A group of Republican lawmakers are calling on the governor to remove the Milwaukee County District Attorney from office. District Attorney John Chisholm has faced numerous calls to resign for the low bail that was set for the Waukesha suspect, Daryl Brooks. CBS 58's Capitol correspondent Emily Fannin has reaction from the governor. Emily, what did he have to say today? Governor Tony Evers says he hasn't seen the request from Republicans asking him to remove Chisholm from office. But it's important to note, according to state law, the governor can only remove a district attorney if a local taxpayer files a formal complaint. More than a dozen Republican lawmakers are demanding the governor take action to remove Milwaukee District Attorney John Chisholm. He should man up. He made a mistake. And he can be held accountable for those decisions that he and his staff have made. Chisholm has been under fire after his office recommended $1,000 cash bail for Daryl Brooks, who last month allegedly tried to run over the mother of his child with his car. After Brooks posted bail, days later he's accused of using the same car to plow through the Waukesha parade, killing six and injuring dozens. We need better policy. Uh, he's the leader of that office. He sets the tone for that office. There's a movement underway that... Uh, that says that we've had enough. On Monday, Governor Evers dodged questions if he thinks Chisholm should be removed or resign from office. Would you him? I, there's a process that we follow. Do you think he should resign based I, on what you know? We have a process. We have a process. Evers says he can only begin the process to remove Chisholm if a Milwaukee County resident files a valid complaint against him. The governor's office says they haven't received one yet. I get a letter from somebody from the county requesting that process be initiated, I will initiate it. If a valid complaint is filed and an investigation finds Chisholm guilty of misconduct, then Evers could decide whether or not to remove Chisholm from office. Now, we reached out to Chisholm's office and he has not responded to requests seeking a comment. In Madison, Emily Fannin, CBS 58 News.